The following is a special presentation produced by WBBZ-TV in partnership with the Erie County Fair, supported by the fair and their sponsors. It's time for Fair Day Live. Everything you need to know about the Erie County Fair with interesting people, places, and events at the Hamburg Fairgrounds. With that and more surprises, here is Kim Piazza. Welcome to Fair Day Live. I'm Kim Piazza. There are so many wonderful events for you to take part in here in Hamburg. And the events that you'll find on this Fair Friday are today is Firefighters Day, free admission to firefighters and auxiliary members with proper ID, 4-H Dairy Showmanship at 10 a.m. in the Showplex, memorial service at the Fireman's Building at 3 p.m., Firefighters Parade in the Buffalo.com Grandstand at 6 p.m., and ZZ Top tonight at 8.30 p.m. in the Buffalo.com Grandstand. Next on our show, we're going to sample a little taste of technology. John DeShulo took a little walk to Jim's Fries and found an interesting way to experience condiments. Take a look. You know, you're hungry when you come to the Erie County Fair, and the best French fries are at Jim's French Fries here at the fair. So many people hanging around. French Fry Jim is right here. He's uh, cooking up our order. Look at that, fresh to made, fresh made. They have French fries, sweet potato fries, pierogies, mozzarella sticks, chicken fingers. This is where you want to be if you're hungry. And you know when you're watching an edition of Fair Day Live and working at WBBZ. Jim, tell, how long John have you been at the fair? Uh, 25 years now. Good for you. And uh, where are you from? We're from actually Boston, New York, from around Hamburg. So we're, we're local. And you do a great business. Where are these potatoes uh, grown? Uh, these are actually out of Delaware. Our local potatoes should probably be out in another week or two. And everybody loves the fresh cut. Oh, I'll tell you what, that's the only way I'll serve. I'll never, you know, have frozen fries. Uh, fresh cut is so much better. It is. Even our sweet potato fries are all fresh cut. Well, you do a great business, and uh, you're from the hometown, so we're supporting you, and uh, have a great time here at the fair. Thank you so much. All right, you that's, guys have a great day. you know, that's French fry Jim, but, you know, one of the things that we want to do is get some ketchup for our French fries. Now, you know, don't think I'm stingy. I do have an order coming for photographer Richie Rich coming up. So, Richie, I've got these French fries, and I'm thinking I want to get some ketchup, okay? So, where do you go? You know what we're going to do? We're going to come over. All these people are standing by Molly the Robot. It's Molly the Ketchup Robot. And Tony Staub is here. Look at these fine folks. They're here enjoying their time at the fair. Tony, how are you? I'm great. Uh, you've got fries, but do you like ketchup with your fries? I love ketchup with my fries, Tony. Now, look at these fries. They look terrific, but they wouldn't be the same without some fresh ketchup, right, Tony? you got to have ketchup, and you got to have it quick. you got to have it quick. So, we so have... What we're going to do is we're going to get you to operate Molly the Ketchup Robot. Molly the Ketchup Robot. What's interesting about this, everybody, is that Molly the Ketchup Robot is not something that came in from some other place in the world. Tony and your team, you built this. Oh, yeah. It took us uh, about 400 hours, over about five months, and um, we finished it just before the fair, and we brought it in on Tuesday, ready for operating on Wednesday, and here we are. Wow, and this is amazing. And they're right uh, by Slade Park. So you want to check it out. All right, I'm going to bring my French fries over to the uh, the Bill Tears right over here. I'm going to sit there, this right over here. Guys, don't steal my French fries, okay? Oh, no. I know you like to eat. There you go. All right, we're holding on that. So while they watch my fries, Tony, you're going to you're going to instruct us. I'm going to hand you a cup. I got, I got my cup. Okay. And what you're going to do, you're going to open up that blue drawer. That's it. Place the cup inside. Close it completely. And now we're going to watch Molly go to work. She's going to pick up your cup. She's going to show you the empty cup. Now she's going to choose, because she's a very independent woman. Women she, are all independent, don't she, she chooses what she wants, and this time it's the carousel. So you built the carousel part, too? Well, the carousel part we we bought. However, we had to integrate it. Look at that. So Molly pumps it right out, dispenses well, the perfect First she amount. got it spinning. Yeah. Then she put the uh, ketchup in the cup. She's going to show you the ketchup. Hi, ketchup. She's going to put it on the, on the stand. She's going to slide it down. And, John, now you have ketchup for your fries. I have the perfect amount of ketchup. Now, Tony, what's interesting is you not only came up with the robotics, came up with the whole idea. What made you decide we're going to build Molly the Ketchup Robot? Well, um, three years ago, we came up with the concept. We said, well, we can build a ketchup robot. And French Fry Jim goes, no way. 
And then two years ago, or last year, we said, Jim, hey, how about that ketchup robot? He said, absolutely not. This year, somehow, in a weak moment, Jim said, yeah, let's do this. So uh, I started around the first of the year, and then um, many months, many hours after that, we have this ketchup robot. But well, you know, let's come back here, Richie Rich, because we got to show the, the robotic arm. Come on back, Tony. Because this is something that you guys put together. It says your universal robot. The robot arm itself is a purchased item. But the concept of the, the rest of it is ours. We designed the stand. We built the stand. Welding, cutting, grinding. We put the sheet metal on top. We decided where the robot was going to go. We decided what we're going to do, how we're going to dispense ketchup. Because one of the first things we're going to do is to make sure that it's safe. So you can't get your arm inside, you can't get your hand inside, you never come in contact with the robot, so you, no one's ever going to get hurt. But then we decided, well, we have to make it fun. So we added the carousel, we uh, designed and 3D printed all the parts to the um, Ferris wheel. We also did the test your strength uh, part of it. So there's three different choices that Molly has. Like I said before, she decides where she's going to put it. Now, some people have asked, why did we make her feminine? And we've an answer for that, because she's a hard worker. She works all day long. She never complains. And to me, that's a woman. There you go. All right, Tony, you couldn't, I couldn't have said it better myself. Tony Staub, and you know what? This is unique to us in New York. Maybe someday other places around the world will have these, but right now it's just here. That's right. It's just here. There's only one in the world. And this is it. So you come yeah. to the Erie County Fair and see it. All right, I'm going to get my ketchup. I'm going to go get my fries. Tony, we'll see you here at the Erie County, Fair, uh, Erie County Fair. Good luck to you. Maybe I'll see you other times. You never know. All right, I'm going to get your fries next, Richie. Mmm, ketchup. Mmm. We'll be right back with more Fair Day Fun. Fair Day Live continues after this. The best 12 days. The best. Days of summer are here. It's the 179th Erie County Fair, August 8th through the 19th. See what we've got packed into 12 days of sensational sizzling summer fun. The best shows. The best rides. And don't forget. The best animals. Summertime's best food. The best times. Nothing says summer like the best 12 days of summer at this year's Erie County Fair. Old man winter is coming. Are you ready? When it comes to your snow removal equipment, do you need a dealer that does more than just sell a plow? then it's time for you to visit General Welding and Fabricating, Inc., an authorized boss dealer. Not only can we help you choose from the best products in the snow removal industry, but we're also your go-to guys when it comes to answering all your boss questions. This week, stop at General Welding's 10 at the Erie County Fair and take advantage of the lowest pricing of the year. Save up to $400 off any installed in-stock boss snow removal equipment. Choosing a bank that's the right fit for your personal or professional needs requires serious consideration. Lakeshore Savings is a local bank with big banking products and no intentions to outgrow our home in western New York. We believe we're just the right size and we intend to keep it that way. Earn up to 1.5% with a qualifying balance when you open an LS Premium Money Market Savings account. Stop in or visit online to get started today. Banking with your best interest in mind. It's how we do business. Get the experience you've been craving at the Niagara Falls Culinary Institute. At NFCI, you'll learn the latest techniques from experienced faculty in a state-of-the-art facility. Earn a degree and gain real-life, hands-on experience with seven programs to choose from. Develop a taste for the extraordinary at the Niagara Falls Culinary Institute, located right in the heart of Niagara Falls, New York. It's like a five-star restaurant where every course matters. Enroll now, because this is how you make it. Welcome back to Fair Day Live. Welcome back to Fair Day Live. Today is a special day at the Erie County Fair. It's Fireman's Day, and we've got a special guest. We have with us Don Trepaz. Welcome, Don. It's so good to have you here. Well, it's, it's good to be here. And, Don, you, for how many years, have been a volunteer fireman? Well, just uh, about 48. I that's so, oh, yeah, yeah. So give or take a, a day or two I'm, but I'm still 29 oh, all right right so 48 more years to come well that's fantastic and you know um, as a community we can't thank you enough we can't thank men like you enough for what you do for us here in Western New York it's very important right. and beyond being a volunteer fireman Don is the co-chair of the fireman's building so the fireman's building what happens inside the fireman's building well, inside the fireman's building we have a lot of uh, uh, we have uh, uh, 
a lot of antique fire apparatus in there. We have a lot of antique uh, fire equipment like fire extinguishers and pull boxes and horns and bells is, that people can see. And then we also have uh, the juniors that uh, come in and they display because junior firemen are important to the fire service today because it's giving them an opportunity to uh, learn the, the job before they're old enough to join the fire service. So junior yeah. firemen, that's, is that high school, middle school, that's elementary? That's high school. That mm -hmm. actually starts at like uh, 13, 14 years old. Uh, but then we also have a smokehouse outside where people can go through the house as it's full of smoke and they can understand exactly what they need to do, you know, get down, crawl, uh, and uh, with the smoke detectors working properly and so on and so forth. So open to the public, they can go Absolutely. in and, ex and, and safely experience what might happen. Correct. In the we're not fire. using we're not using wood burning smoke. We're using chemical smoke, which is uh, non toxic, mm -hmm. and we use it in training all the time. Uh, we use that so that they can understand exactly what it looks like in a, sure. a smoke-filled building. It's probably a, a really important experience, particularly for children. Absolutely. To see that this is how you handle that situation. And then we have another big section over there. Glenn Sickle uh, from Scottsville uh, puts on a show every year, but uh, there he's got number one. He's got a lot of videos uh, for kids for fire prevention and training. He's also got a, a display there that, you, that the kids can actually learn how to play nine, or, or dial 911. Oh, nice. And what kind of information they need to, to give mm -hmm. the, the dispatcher so the dispatcher can send the right sure. stuff. So there's a lot of things over there that uh, the kids can see. A lot of really important stuff that probably uh, you wouldn't necessarily think of at home to teach your child. Well, you know, the thing of it is is that people don't, you know, they, they try to teach their kids the 911, but they don't really know what they need to know. Once but over there, it them. tells you, mm -hmm. it asks your name, it asks your, your location, are you home, uh, what's the incident, and then they'll tell you what you can do to try and sustain the situation until the uh, volunteer firemen and ambulances get there. So, some really nice resources for families here at the fair Absolutely. regarding, you know, fire safety and, and those things that we hope never happen but still might experience as Absolutely. a family. Absolutely. It's, uh, it's an important place in the everybody should take an opportunity to go through the fireman's yeah, building. Yeah. But then at the same time, today is Fireman's Day at the fair, and we have about 50 tents set up in the center ring, and uh, probably in about uh, four or five hours, they'll be loaded with firemen um, and their families, and uh, it's kind of a social hour for them all. So they all get together, get a bite to eat, and talk to other firemen. And uh, at six o'clock is our uh, a parade, and we have a uh, the parade probably lasts an hour, a little bit over, but uh, that represents a lot of the fire departments throughout the county of Erie, along with some of the new equipment that they have, uh, which is important because uh, you know with the you know with the downturn in volunteers right now, they need to have equipment that can handle a fire with less personnel than we used to use years ago. I mean. In our fire company years ago, I mean, I had the rubber coat and the rubber boots, and the, and we only had one, two Scott packs for the whole department, so we all went in the. What's a Scott pack? The Scott pack is, is the breathing apparatus that you carry on your back. We never had those, so mm -hmm. we had to go into the fire and fight it without it. Safety so, is safety's come a long way, oh, particularly yeah. for the men who are there to save. You know, well, today's equipment now has every single seat has an SCBA on it. Mm -hmm. So when they get off the truck, they can, no matter what kind of fire they have, they have an SCBA on. So it's, uh, we've come a long way. Yeah, yeah. We've come a long way. And of course, the families can sit in the grandstands and experience the parade. Yeah, the parade, it's, it's going to be nice. So they'll be able to uh, uh, see some of their fire departments that represent their towns or their villages or whatever. Uh, and uh, the firemen, come out here to number, no, no, number one, show their, their equipment, but number two, uh, interact with the people that are at the fair and tell them how good that we do and what mm -hmm. we do. And, mm -hmm. and uh, we're always looking for manpower, no. always looking for manpower. And you have a 3 p.m. service. We have a memorial service uh, at, at the fireman's building. We have a, a memorial off to the side, uh, closer to the, uh, the uh, 42nd Street. And uh, there we have a memorial, and uh, we, uh, we celebrate the life of uh, fallen firefighters mm -hmm. and uh, future firefighters. 
and uh, it's going to be, I mean, there's, there's going to be pipe band there. There's going to be a, a pretty good celebration. And, and we do that every year to, uh, to celebrate the, the sure. volunteer firefighters. Thank you so much, Don. Thanks for stepping in and speaking with us. You've got to check out the Fireman's Building. So many great things for families and so many opportunities for learning safety. We'll be right back. And don't, don't forget the 6 o'clock uh, parade. The 6 o'clock the, the fire truck parade can't be missed. We'll wow. be right back after this. Days of summer are here. It's the 179th Erie County Fair, August 8th through the 19th. See what we've got packed into 12 days of sensational sizzling summer fun. The best shows. The best rides. And don't forget. The best animals. Summertime's best food. The best times. Nothing says summer like the best 12 days of summer at this year's Erie County Fair. There's a bank in our community that saves you money wherever you are. A bank where people right here answer the phone and spend time with you to answer your questions. A bank that has proudly served Western New Yorkers for more than 90 years and counting. Evans Bank. Experience a better way. America's most iconic quartet is coming live to perform their unforgettable hits. The Oak Ridge Boys Shine the Light Tour 2018, August 13th at the Erie County Fair Buffalo.com Grandstand. Get reserved seats at Tickets.com, the fairground's main office, or by phone. There's more at OakRidgeBoys.com, part of the National Grid Concert Series. Welcome back to Fair Day Live. Welcome back to Fair Day Live. We all know that our fair here in Erie County is really special. And we have some guests with us today who came all the way from Wayne County in Ohio to find out why. So let me introduce to you the Junior Fair Board Officer, Ty Clark and extension educator Douglas Fox. Oh, and of course, on the other side of Douglas Fox is Junior Fair Board uh, Paige Mabel. And Paige, what was your title? Secretary. Secretary. Paige is the secretary. So, lady, gentlemen, welcome. Please share with us what you do in Wayne County, and then maybe we can move into how great it is that you're here at our fair. So, okay. we'll start here. Okay, well, um, Wayne County, we have a, a, a large fair, not quite as large as this one, but a very, very nice fair. Um, we've 169 years this year, and so we, um, we just have a lot of, a lot of activities. We um, are part of 4-H and FFA with the, with the junior fair side of things, with the livestock and um, still projects and competitions that go on with the youth. And so the, th the, the three of you from the Wayne County Fair are, are kind of in a similar position then where you're uh, moving things along with 4-H and with everything you're doing at that fair. Okay, and you know, the Erie County Fair, really, we, we really know what we're doing here in Western New York when it comes to the fair, right? We know how to have a good time. Yeah. And uh, one of the wonderful things about the Erie County Fair is the opportunity to reach out to other fairs like yours. And so it's almost an exchange program that we're running here with the Wayne County Fair, isn't it? <laughs> yep. So uh, talk to us a little bit about what the Wayne County Fair is doing here right now at the Erie County Fair. Um, so <clears throat> we chose to come to the Erie County Fair because we've had a lot of board members that have shown here and they said it's a great <clears throat> fair. Mm -hmm. And so we thought it would be a good opportunity for us to bring our junior fair board to see what you guys do and maybe take some ideas back home to our fair to help make our fair really nice. Well, we don't blame you. We don't blame you at all. 
<laughs> it's an extension of the Erie County Fair. We think that you're very wise for being here. I hope you're taking lots of notes. Yeah. And so, uh, Paige, I'm very curious. You know, here in Western New York, here at the Erie County Fair, there are certain foods that when you come to the fair, we expect to see. Uh, chicken wings, beef on wick, uh, lots of Chevetta's chicken. What have you got at your fair that are, are the Wayne County Fair foods? Our Wayne County Fair food is our Lurch's Donuts. Your what? Lurch's Donuts. Lurch? Like yes. Lurch from the, the TV show Adam's Family? <laughs> yeah. Okay, you need to, you, Paige. What is a Lurch's Donut? Lurch's Donuts are probably the best donuts around. Ooh, that was kind of a throwdown. Because you know, <laughs> here in Western New York, we have Paula's Donuts. But okay, Lurch's Donuts. Yes. And what makes Lurch's Donuts the best? Well, the blueberry are probably the best, but they come out nice and warm, powdered, sugared. Everyone eats a breakfast, lunch, dinner. <laughs> breakfast, lunch, dinner. It's health food, especially oh, yeah. blueberries. I mean, come on, antioxidants. So at the Wayne County Fair, when, when the folks go to your fair, they expect to see Lurch's Donuts. That's, yes. that's your thing, right? It is. <laughs> when is the Wayne County Fair? We are um, September 8th to the 13th this year. So we always start okay. the first Saturday after Labor Day. So just enough after our fair to yeah. take back all of our little secrets. Yeah. So. Um, what what are you finding here at the Erie County Fair? What what are you finding that's maybe different, or what are you finding that you're really enjoying? Sure. Well, we just arrived this morning, just a few minutes ago, um, on on our bus, and kind so of it's too early to a little ask bit early to tell, but um, but part of this trip is um, kind of a yeah, fact finding mission to learn mm -hmm. more, and mm -hmm. um, it's our second year to do a bus trip like this. Last year we visited three three fairs in Ohio, and then this year. Um, came up and visited a Ashtabula County Fair in Northeast Ohio yesterday. Okay, then, so you saved the um, best for last, yep, which yep. makes perfect sense to all of us here in <laughs> Western New York. Yep. Um, let's take a minute and tell me, what are your backgrounds? Sure. Go ahead. Um, well, I'm, I'm the 4-H extension educator. I grew up in 4-H in Wayne County and um, went to Ohio State and majored in agriculture and um, then worked in, in government relations and farm policy, working for Ohio Farm Bureau for about 10 years, advocating for farmers, and then made my way kind of full circle back to my roots to 4-H and you know, getting to work with um, awesome teens like the, like Ty and Paige here um, doing team leadership development and um, youth development with Ty and Paige are young. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're young. They, they are. So They're... Ty, tell us your background. Um, so I've grown up showing uh, my dog. I showed my dog at our fair. Um, I showed dairy for a few years. I've been in 4-H for about nine years, I think. Uh, this year I'm the vice president for Junior Fair Board. Um, and I've just kind of grown up going to the fair every year, every day, and just really enjoyed it. And so. so it's a natural for you, Ty. Yeah. And Paige, what's your background? Grew up on a family farm, continue to work on the family farm. I've shown lambs, horses, beef, goats. And so the 4-H program has been really important for the two of you. Yes, very. And it's a great vehicle for learning responsibility, uh, business, good business practices. Um, I have friends who did 4-H, and that's how they made money to pay for their college education. Yep, so, so many good things that happen at the Wayne County Fair and at the Erie County Fair. And how wonderful that you're here with us to uh, kind of get into some trade secrets, yeah, right? Yeah. And yep. um, hopefully kind of as, a, as a, a family affairs, we can reach out to each other just to create success on all ends. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you, Thank you for sitting down with us. And, um, you know, I'm sure you're going to have a fabulous experience here in Western New York at the Erie County Fair. We'll be right back after this short, after this short, short break. So stay with us. Fair Day Live continues after this. The best 12 days. The best days of summer are here. It's the 179th Erie County Fair, August 8th through the 19th. See what we've got packed into 12 days of sensational sizzling summer fun. The best shows. The best rides. And don't forget. The best animals. Summertime's best food. The best times. Nothing says summer like the best 12 days of summer at this year's Erie County Fair. Discover a world of magic and wonder where you can imagine all sorts of new adventures and endless possibilities where you can find what you need for everything from late night soothing snuggles to meeting a new best friend. Come to Fisher Price. There's always fun in store.
Eat quality. Save money. Eat fresh. Save time. Eat right. Eat right foods. Buffalo's premier meal prep service. Order today at eatrightfoods716.com. Looking for a fun night out? Grab your friends and join the chefs at the Niagara Falls Culinary Institute to create new and amazing dishes in hands-on classes. In each class, you'll receive personalized attention from our chef and learn kitchen tips that you'll use every time you cook. After preparation, there'll be time to enjoy the meal you just created. Check out our course schedule online at nfculinary.org. Welcome back to Fair Day Live. Thank you for joining us this morning on Fair Day Live. And remember, so many wonderful things to do and see today, and some of those things include the Firefighters Day. Today, all day at the Erie County Fair. Free admission to firefighters and auxiliary members with proper ID. 4-H Dairy Showmanship at 10 a.m. in the Showplex. Memorial service at the Fireman's Building at 3 p.m. Firefighters Parade in the Buffalo.com Grandstand at 6 o'clock p.m. And of course, ZZ Top. Tonight at 8.30 p.m. in the Buffalo.com Grandstand. We're all used to the fireworks being at 9.30, but tonight the fireworks will follow ZZ Top. What a great way to end a great concert with fireworks and fun. So thank you so much for joining us on Fair Day Live. Come on down Western New York to the Erie County Fair. You know you're gonna have a great time. Thank you, enjoy your day. The preceding presentation was produced by WBBZ-TV in partnership with the Erie County Fair, who paid a production fee for the program with sponsor support.